just came over from Reddit, and hopefully I can get some views here on my YouTube channel for Microscope Night Pond Life. <laughs> hey, SpaghettiOs, did you come over from Reddit? Thanks. Yeah, good. So y'all jumped over. Thanks a lot. So you might be able to see that it might be a little bit clearer. So let me know if this is clearer or not. Uh, it, it is definitely clearer on my side, okay? And what I can do here is apply some filters, okay? And the filters are really, really badass. Watch this. This is what I like about this. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. So you can actually see, you know, with these filters, you can see the insides of them and how they work and stuff like that. So really cool. So that's a paramecium. Mm, they shouldn't be on your floor. Uh, you know, if you drop dirty water on your floor from, from, you know, if you, if you track in, if you go walk in a mud puddle, if you go walk in a mud puddle or something and then come in your house, they very well could be, uh huh. Yeah. Tanner, it's no comparison. Yeah. I have a Twitch. I always forget to advertise it. Twitch is really hard to get viewers, okay? But I'm going to start double streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time because YouTube and Twitch both allow landscape at the same time. You can't stream to YouTube and Reddit at the same time because one's landscape and one's uh, uh, portrait, and it's a mess. So, and you guys, all you people that came over to watch me on here, I have 19 viewers right now, okay? So if, if 19 viewers la watch for one minute, that's one minute of, of YouTube time that counts toward to my monetization. So that's real important. Uh, so, you know, over on Reddit, I had 4,000. Put it this way, on Reddit, I had 4,000 people watching probably for 40 minutes. I would have broken over my threshold of 4,000 hours for the year and been monetized. So that's how that works. Yeah, 19, what did I say? So I got 23 people on here. If 23 people watch for one minute, that's 23 minutes. That's badass. <laughs> so, Thanks, Sean. Wait, how'd you get banned? Who banned? What? They just, I guess they think you're spamming, huh? That sucks. Thanks. I got about an hour to kill. So, so the moderators, so that, oh, so they have moderators on animals on reddit i guess thanks naughty dog yeah thanks I'll, I'll thank you personally depending on how you sent it so yeah don't don't get banned on my account so i didn't know that so i'll have to i'll have to warn people of that sorry about that thanks john yeah this is fun yeah, I've been banned before I start. I got to be careful when I stream because I got a ton of followers now, 8,000, 9,000 followers. Um, so I got to be careful what I say and do on Reddit. Uh, I don't want to get banned. So I'm pretty much <laughs> self-censored. I can't, you know, if I, go, <laughs> if I go on to the politics site or something, I got to hold my tongue. I can't really yell out anything. I'm gonna add a drop of water to this. You can see I added water and look, it looks like a tornado. I added too much water, damn. 
Let me go, let me zoom out. I'm gonna get my slide all wet. This is a mess. I always overdo it. Oh, uh, he, uh, look. Look what was in that drop of water, a cyclops. Woohoo! That's a Daphne right there. Oh, no, it's not. So when I put, I forgot what, I didn't know what I had in that, that, uh, <laughs> I didn't know what I had in that, uh, pipette. And I, <laughs> I accidentally put, I accidentally put these creatures. So I mixed my pond water with my lagoon water. <laughs> Yeah, that Delepta Sioux was bad, huh? I mean, he, he killed two things while we were watching. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, you can watch it. Go watch that video. I also have it on... Did I put it on YouTube? No, it's on there. Yeah, go look on... Uh, go look on the one from last night or yesterday. Uh... It, 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 the, the, the leptus actually hit two, two things and zapped them really good. Yeah, this is Cyclops. He has one eye. <laughs> See it right in the middle. Um, if I put polarized light on, he really, I think his, his eyeball will glow. If he's the right species, his eyeball will grow, glow. So let's see. Let me get the polarizer on. Nope, he's not the right one. So as you can see, let me let me go back to regular here. So what some of those species of cyclops, they um some of those species of cyclops, <clears throat> their middle eye will glow red. <clears throat> Excuse me, and polarized light. But I don't see that happening. I lost them. And I'm just doing an organized search here. I'm going up and down the slide. Hang on. And you can see that I just got a ton of water on this slide. Ugh, my bad. So excuse the, the the motion here. I'm just trying to look for that Cyclops. Where did he go? I mean, it's just one drop of water. <clears throat> yeah, he better not be crawling up my ear like on Star Trek, huh? But look, I got so much water on this slide. When I say so much, it's probably like five drops. You could see it's spilling over the uh, edge of the cover slide. See that? So that Cyclops could be anywhere. I mean, you you think this is about, uh, I guess, two centimeters by two centimeters, and and I can lose something in it. It's insane. That right there is a. Copepod, they are related to shrimp. They're related to uh, shrimp right here, so. And you can see, if you look inside them, that, that's their little, they, what he's actually doing is, he brings that, all that gook. Yeah, that's right, copepod. And, and he, uh, brings it underneath him and he sucks it into his mouth. You can see, look, he's, he, was, he was facing you. You can see the, the two shells broken apart. He's like a shell, like a clam. And I got him in half polar, he just escaped. I got him in half polarized light, so Okay, so 
I am getting a lot more viewers on YouTube tonight, 50 viewers. So I'm at 10 minutes. So this really, really helps out the channel if you can hang around a little while. This guy, where's he going? I mean, where, where are they going? Come on. I really want to find that Cyclops again. I mean, when I put the, when I put the polarizer on, he just took off, huh? I wasn't thinking when I put, when I put that, uh, oh, there he is, way up here. Oh, this, this right here is a, I think this right here is a Daphne. I think this is a different one right here. Hang on. So he's actually outside. Notice where this one is. That line right there is the cover slip, and he's outside the cover slip sitting out there. So he's not smashed or anything. He's actually floating right under it. Sorry about, sorry about my ice cracking. But notice, if you put him in polarized light, his eye doesn't glow. So he's just a different species than a real cyclops. I don't know what he's looking at. He's just sitting there. He's probably drowning. I put so much damn water in it. <laughs> Let's see if I can filter him out. Let's see. What's good about YouTube, they have these filters on here that really can let you see different things. Like this one let Well, all human sperm looks the same under a microscope, but no, the different different species sperm looks different. Yeah, <laughs> the icy. It's actually tequila with. I don't drink too much sweet stuff in my margaritas or tequila, so I just kind of put tequila with a splash of margarita mix. <laughs> so that's what it is. And you can see I have a lot of water in. See how he jiggles around? So that's actually too much water. Anybody want to go back to the other slide and see that big larva again? Or you want to stay with these guys? Lava, okay. Some people don't like that lava because he's kind of gross. But let's go see what we got. Let's see if we can find him. He's all the way on the other side. Oh, you hadn't seen the lava? Oh, he's big and nasty. Hang on. I hope he didn't jump up and go up my nose. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. If somebody wants to look it up and try to, uh, uh, I try to live stream. Now that my granddaughter's out of school, it's hard because I watch her every day. <laughs> so, uh, so it's kind of hard, but I try to do three times a week. Yeah, it could be a mayfly. It could be anything. Uh, let me polarize this. Watch. So if you look at polarize, I believe everything you see that's bright is muscle tissue. I could be wrong, but but that's what I, from reading and trying to keep up on it, I could be wrong, but usually in these kind of things, it's, it's muscle, what you'd consider muscle tissue. Yeah, so if it's a mayfly, that's, that's cool. I'll look it up. I mean, it'd be really easy to tell, look up, Look up uh, mayfly lava and you'll see it. What's weird is the other day, I, I have an aquarium outside that I throw pond water in once in a while and I got to put a cover on it so mosquitoes don't lay their eggs in it and get mosquito lava. And the other day it had a screen on it and 
I hadn't looked at it in about a week. And when I opened it up, a little dra a dragonfly flew out of it and landed on my shoulder and sat there for about three or four minutes and and then uh and uh and flew away. So I actually grew a dragonfly in there and when he saw when he saw I freed him, he landed on me. Yeah, donations. Uh let me um it it's if if you go Ken Skid two zero zero one. Ken Skid two zero zero one. That's Venmo and Cash App. Okay, and I'll I'll try to post it on here. And PayPal is uh, Ken Skid one hundred at gmail dot com. Is it a dragonfly? Or you just like dragonflies? <laughs> So for some reason, it doesn't look like YouTube lets me chat. Yeah, no, you, you can set up donations on YouTube. Yeah, KenSkid2001, Mariah, that's Cash App and Venmo. What's happening is, you guys, I got 53 viewers. If you stay here long enough, oh, like this dragonfly story, thanks. Yeah, it's a good story. It's a true story. So what happens is... You, I can't take donations over YouTube, through YouTube, with Super Chats or anything like that, till I'm monetized. I got to get 4,000 hours of viewing time. Right now, I'm only about 800, okay? So that's not going to, you know, I need 4,000. But I got 52 people watching right now. If you 50, if 52 people watch for an hour, okay, that's 52 hours right there, Okay. Yeah, my donation stuff is listed on my, uh, if you look on about and go there, you'll see all the donation stuff. So thanks. Yeah, thanks. And right now my slide is, is a little wet. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take the slide off for a second so I can, uh, uh, dry it off underneath cause I'm having a little trouble, uh, navigating. Hang on. I do some maintenance here. There you go. Sorry about that. Hey, thanks a lot, Tanner. That's cool. <laughs> Where's my lava? Let's look at him for a little while. And I'm sorry to say, well, not sorry to say, but my my uh, my left. My left uh, drop of water is starting to mix with my right drop of water, okay? So I'm starting to get a mix of my protist. And usually you don't want to see that, but that's fine. I'm going to dry it off one more time. Hang on. And what happened is when you got too much water on here like I did by accident, it gets on the bottom of the slide and it just really causes havoc when you're trying to move around. And that that's him. <laughs> yeah, it might be yeah, probably a mayfly. He looks like he's having hey, thanks, Mariah. I, I appreciate that. Hey, yeah, it just popped up. It just popped up. Thanks a lot. All that money is going to a uh, microscope, uh, a, <laughs> a uh, DIC micro. This guy looks like he might have, I don't know why he looks like he kicked the bucket. He's not underneath a cover slide and he's got more than enough water. Let me see why he might be slowed down here. Hang on. My wife just finished watching Corella DeVille with my granddaughter. Yeah, he's just taking a break. 
I just put another drop of water with a whole bunch of collapse in it. See all those little ones? Those little ones are collapse. They like, uh, uh, no, you can see he's a real animal. He's got intestines and everything. You'd see the food in there. I'm sure he does have bacteria back in there, but you can't really see it. Yeah, Ken Skid 100, Ken Skid 100 at gmail.com. That's my PayPal. I don't know why this will not let me chat. It won't let me chat with y'all. Ken Skid 100 at gmail.com. That's my PayPal. Thanks. And I don't think YouTube penalizes you. So if somebody wants to throw up my info, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, KenSkid100 at gmail.com. And you see these, uh, so I got a mix here. This is a real smorgasbord. This is a, a larva of a mayfly or something. And all those little things I just put on there, those are called, you, they might be, uh, the ones going in circles. <laughs> Do you have the most interesting puddles and ponds, or is this what all water? Uh, if you get a pond that a puddle that that keeps water for more than a day or two after it rains, all, this is in it. A lot of this is in it, unless you got fertilizer or pesticide or herbicides. Then it, you don't have nothing. It kills it all. Let's see what this guy looks under a filter. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Wow, that badass. Look at that. YouTube's so much better than Reddit. I mean, it's just not even comparable, huh? Look at that. Now, that's worth a dollar right there. <laughs> That's worth a dollar right there. <laughs> there you go. Somebody hit me with PayPal. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and that's probably the guy. Uh, sorry about that. I I'll thank everybody personally. But, yeah, this this right here is probably, uh, yeah, Reddit is just not, not, uh, not made out for uh, streaming, you know, at this point, maybe they'll get better. Yeah, Russia, why, Russia, Russia don't let you donate, they're watching you, huh? <laughs> yeah, Reddit, I don't have trouble with the timer on Reddit because I get so many people to view that I can go for hours and hours and hours. Okay, but what Reddit does is I can get four, five, six thousand viewers, but then once it tweaks down to six, seven hundred, it will never come back up. They have some kind of some kind of algorithm that just does not let you go back up to the top. It hides you, it blocks you, it shadow bans you, something. I mean, this guy's pretty interesting to watch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put him into a Petri dish with a lot of water. And uh, and you can see that rotifer right there, how small he is compared to this guy. And I'm going to see if I can grow him, and then I'll, I'll take a picture of him when he grows into whatever he grows, and I'll post him back. I'll post a video. So I'm going to go look for some other stuff real quick. But this is actually like you're looking at an x-ray of this guy. Yeah, Mariah, you're looking at your TV, that's pretty cool. You can see this guy digesting food inside of him. Look how small those microorganisms are. See that guy right there? You could see this one with your naked eye, but you can't see that one with your naked eye. I cannot see him. I can see him though. All right, so we know where he is. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. 
to my other slide. I think that the leptus might have fell off my slide, so let's see. And the leptus was really cool, but I got so much water on here, it just spilled all over the place. I got a deleptus crawling on my floor. I hope it don't sting me. Well, the creatures you see on here won't make you sick if you eat it. Like this guy right here, that larva won't make you sick. But if you see these creatures on here, there's also bacteria on here. The bacteria is what make you sick. <laughs> so, so yeah, if you see life on here and, and there's not enough chlorine to kill these guys, then you don't want to be putting this in your mouth because of the bacteria, not, not the, the big creatures like this guy. You know, you can eat him. He's not going to hurt you. You'll kill him as soon as, uh, yeah, tap water, you're not going to find anything. It's got too much chlorine in it. Uh, I'm far. I'm far. I, I think if, if, depending on what I got tonight from donations, I probably have whew, saved $400. So with my $400 i am matching, that's $800. So only not even, you know, not even a few percentage points there. But we're going to measure that in a year. Let's, let's, say, let's say we measure, let's, you know, set the goal for a year. Uh, if I can get monetized on YouTube, that's going to help and everything like that. So let's, let's put a year as the goal for the uh, DIC microscope. Somebody asked about bacteria. Yes, certain bacteria I can see. <laughs> just, he just creeped back in. Hang on. Certain bacteria I can see. Um, I'll try to find some for you if you wait a second. Let's see. That big giant one, that was a, that was a larva. You must have just came on. That was a larva we were looking at. Some people, uh, they said it, they looked it up. It was a mayfly larva, so he's going to turn into like a, a mayfly. This right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, Spa, I can post that. I'll, after after this video ends, I'll you know when I when I change the uh, the the cover slot when I change the uh, oh god the thumbnail and stuff I'll put in there exactly what I used and what I'm saving for. And let me polarize this guy for the people who didn't see polarized last time. Yeah, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start doing a, a multi-stream to Twitch for sure. Yeah, everybody, a lot of people say they, 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 they on drugs <laughs> watching my videos. I don't know what that is in the back of him there. I don't know what that is. I'm going to keep him here for a minute. And I'm going to go and get me, refresh my drink here. I got 65 viewers. You don't know how much I appreciate this. This stream, I guarantee you, this stream is going to get 50 to 100 hours of viewing time by the time we finish. And that's without reviews, okay? So this is really, really a good one. I've never had 63 on YouTube before. I'll be right back.
Oh, good. He stayed here. <laughs> so, what's going on? Somebody had a question? Yeah, oh, yeah, here you go. No, well, it, it's related to both. It's a shrimp. It's a crustacean, so keep that. It's, it's a crustacean. And I'm sitting here eating almonds now, so... And the reason you see it in color like this is because it's, it's under polarized light. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you watch any of my videos, you know, I got a couple of other live streams on. If you go watch all those, it counts. Yep, everything counts. Even this live stream count. There was some question I didn't know for sure if, if streaming live counted, but I did some research and it does. Thanks, TQ. Thanks, TQ. Yeah, it just depends on what you get out of the pond. <laughs> so right here, you got a you got a paramecium right there. See that? That's a single cell, and this is this guy has a million cells. This copepod probably has a million cells. This one right here has one. This this probably has thousands of cells. That's a. Uh, a rotifer, but that paramecium you just saw is one cell. Yep, that's right. This this guy is a real animal right here. And, you know, you could correct me, it could be hundreds of thousands of cells, but he's a real, this thing has intestines, it has, you know, it has muscles, it has gills. I mean, this is a real animal right here so let's go find something else real quick i don't want y'all to get bored and i'm eating almonds so sorry if you hear me chewing anybody want to go look at that yeah my deleptus i think my deleptus got away <laughs> Ah, there he is. Just chilling out. Yeah, those cell size, like this guy right here, I can tell you, he has millions of cells. This is a, this is a, a larva of a mayfly or a mosquito hawk or something, a dragonfly. He's got millions of cells, okay? And... If you remember, I had a, uh, I don't know where that Cyclops went. That he, he has thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of cells. He's a big one too. Let me see what I got here, hang on. What I'm doing right now, you go up and down the slide just to try to look for stuff. And you got to do it in an orderly fashion, up, right. See, there's a paramecium right here. So these are single cell creatures as compared to that big giant larva. So there's a one cell. And that larva can actually eat these guys. That larva, they'll, they'll eat these. They don't even have to think about it. They'll just eat them. Yeah, they got single cell, but they have, they have cilia. And they, they just turn that cilia... If one of them, if I can get one of them out in the open, oh, here's one right here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this clown right here. Hold on. Um, <laughs> you see that line going through him? I don't know if you could see it, that dark line kind of in the middle of him right there. See how it overlaps right there? And you see that flapping right there? 
that indention right there. Oh, that's what, <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah, that clown right there. That indention right there is his uh, oral groove, it's called, okay? That, or his mouth. So right, you see that dark line and that lighter portion right there? There's a groove right there that they just filter in the food right there. So, so it's just one cell and that's just what they do. And then they put those, those, they put that food, when it gets in there, they put them in vacuoles, little air pockets. They digest them and then they squirt the air pockets out of their skin. Oh, well, not skin, but their cell wall. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to see the powerhouse of this cell. It's too small. Uh, if you really, really knew what you were looking at, you might be able to pinpoint the mitochondria in these, maybe. Membrane, there you go. So here's a rotifer. Now, the rotifer, look, the rotifer is smaller than this guy, okay? But he's multicellular, okay? So he has thousands of cells. And he's smaller than the... Paramecium. No, I'm not a teacher. I, I have a biology degree. The only reason, let me tell you, the only reason I know, it seems like I know a lot about these creatures is because I've been streaming them for the last six weeks. You know, I just started streaming. And when you're streaming them, people ask you questions and you, you, you go... You go look them up and you, you come back. So you're always coming back to the same stuff. Hey, Calvin. Uh, so you kind of learn more and more about the same stuff. Yeah, I, I sure am, Sue. I got, I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling I got a, a lot of dollars toward my microscope tonight. I, 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 cause I kept seeing Venmo and, and uh, Cash App pop up uh, more than once or twice. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, tally that and I'll, uh, put that toward the DIC microscope. I actually, Tom, I have a biology degree and about 10 years ago. Hey, thanks, Dandy. Thanks a lot. About 10 years ago, I applied to graduate school to get a teaching certificate and I'd have a master's degree in education after two years. Okay, and I'm not a spring chicken. I have two kids, one was in college, one was in high school. Uh, you know, so I, I really had to make a decision. I got laid off from my job that I had for 14 years and I got accepted into, uh, oh, it's so this is the first time you saw one in real life. So, well, that's cool. So I got accepted into a, a graduate program but then, before I de de decided to go, uh, I had applied at Apple as an at-home advisor, okay? And I said, and remember, I needed money, so it wasn't like, you know, I had the luxury of just quitting and going to school. So I said, look at this. So I went through a month of interviews and tests and stuff for Apple. So I decided to go to Apple, and it paid off. I worked there for about eight years. I worked at home and I, I got to build my retirement. I can't take my retirement yet, but I, I built more in my retirement through Apple than I did in 14 years from that other company. I'm no longer at, at Apple, uh, um, but it was a good uh, decision, I think. You know, you know, may, you know, when I'm on my deathbed, and somebody says, do you regret anything? You know, it might be that I didn't teach, but you know, can't, you can't go back. You, know, you can't look at it that way. That right there is a spirostonum. That's one cell. That's one unicellular also, spirostonum. Yeah, I'm teaching you and I got some money. People paid me tonight. So it's, it's good to, uh, it's good to uh, uh, get money. Okay, for teaching. Somebody said this is the first time they saw a paramecium. <laughs> so that's 
that's really satisfying. Uh, you know, that's real satisfying, uh, you know, that I can show people a paramecium. And paramecium really, really uh, sought after. They studied a lot. So you're looking at them right here. And with YouTube, I don't know if y'all saw, you can do some filters and stuff. No, Dandy, ask all the questions you want. I, I try to answer them all. I don't have a schedule because I, I watch my granddaughter every day. I work part-time and I watch my granddaughter. So there's no way for me to be sure when I can stream. <sighs> if, if I said, if you, if you really wanted to take a chance and when I'm going to stream, it's probably about 8 o'clock Central Time. But I've been known to pop up at 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, so... Yeah, just leave notifications on and hit the bell. There's a little bell that you hit, and because if you if you if you if you don't hit the bell, then when I stream, you won't see anything. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Let's look at some other filters here. Slate, that's pretty cool. Slate's pretty cool. You get the you get the same look without all those lines going through. And what this does is it gives you different contrasts of the inside. So YouTube is, you can see YouTube is way, way ahead of, of uh, Reddit. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much mud water, I guess you would say. Uh, uh, puddle, this, now I got to say it was, I did have it separated. Now I got lagoon water, puddle water, and pond water all mixed up. And I don't think that's his heart. From looking this up and researching about this guy, I think that's more of his his mandibles, how he eats, okay, right there. Because you can see it stops sometimes. If it was his heart, it would always be gone. Yeah, he's got a pseudopod, a false foot, and he's stuck to the bottom of the slide right there. So somebody noticed that. Yeah, he doesn't pump blood and stuff like that. So that's right. But, you know, a lot of people see stuff pumping and uh, and they say heart immediately. But it's part of his, his, his digestive tract, I guess. I mean, a lagoon, you can look it up, but a lagoon usually is bigger and it might wind and it might even empty into a bigger uh, uh, lake, you know, uh, uh, Think of the lagoon on Gilligan's Island, okay? It was an inland, and it, and it sat there, it pulled in closer to the shore, and it like made like a big pond-looking thing, but it opened up into the Pacific Ocean. So my lagoon here that I have in City Park, it's called the City Park Lagoon, it actually, it's a lagoon, and it actually opens up into a bayou, okay? And the bayou actually opens up into Lake Pontchartrain, so it's not closed off like a pond, okay? I guess that's as best I can explain it. <laughs> so. so look on your left, that's a, that's a single-celled organism on your left, and on the right is a multicellular uh, rotifer. So you got two different things about the same size. <clears throat> No, I'm not. So you got two different things about the same size that are two totally different. It's crazy. You know how that works. Mother Nature's a mad scientist. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I don't live near an ocean. I live near the Gulf. Well, I shouldn't say near the Gulf. It would take me two hours to drive to the beach. I've never once in my life got any samples from the water, but I will this summer. I will bring my microscope when I go on vacation. I'll stream it from there too. So that should be a big stream for y'all. Yeah, I will I will not go to to the Gulf Coast without my microscope now. <laughs> I got a following now. <laughs> We're gonna look at some seawater. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm in Louisiana. So we have we're on the Gulf Coast, but our Gulf Coast is swamp. <laughs> so we have one island called Grand Isle that juts out into it. Uh, but uh, you know, you really got to go east uh, to get into a sandy beach. We got swamps. Uh, it'll be a couple of months. If I have my high-end scope by then, it would mean somebody out there that really likes me uh, sent me thousands of dollars. So. <laughs> Yeah, sand, uh, let me tell you what, sand under the microscope. Let me let me try to see what sand would look like. Let me sh show you this right here. This right here is pretty much a grain of, of sand or dirt. See that right there? And if you polarize it, see how, it, look what it does. Let me get this filter off real quick. So here's what sand's going to, just give you some, some, some idea what sand's gonna look like, like this, okay? That's one grain of dirt or sand or mud right there. And through polarized light, it reflects like that. So when you put sand on it, it's really gonna be cool. Uh, I might even go get some sand out of my granddaughter's sandbox outside and put it on here. Uh, but I really like to get some beach sand. So this is what dirt looks like under you know, this is what you would tell your kids, don't pick up the dirt. That's, that's what it is. And that, what you're seeing glowing right there is minerals. Uh, minerals under polarized light. For, you know, I, I, I'm a biologist. Well, I'm a, a biology major. Um, so I don't know the exact reason why minerals glow like that. You can look it up, though. Tell me. Look it up and tell me why do minerals shine under polarized light. And if you notice... This is almost full polar. This is about half polarized right here. And you can see that the rotifer has, yeah, homework. <laughs> the rotifer has some, some parts of him that do glow. Yeah, it is. It has, it has to do with crystals. <sighs> so, Coco Row. Yeah, it does. It's it's strange. Look that up because what you can do is if I put some, let's say, what do I want? If I put some sugar water on here, okay, and and let it dry and put it under polarized light, you would see some crazy colors. It would be insane. Let's see what Dandy's posting. In plain polarized light, we can distinguish opaque and non-opaque minerals. We can see crystal shape, habit, cleavage, color, and procreation relief. In cross-polarized light, we just see anti-tropic from isotropic minerals. We see inferences in colors related to bi refrigerants, and we can see twinning and related features. Okay, let me tell you that. That's a lot of stuff. That's why that's a lot of physics, okay? So which, what they posted just now is insane. So what I was saying, look at this glow. <laughs> he said cleavage. <laughs> what, and look, by cleavage, I'm going to go out on a limb here. Look at those lines in between everything. I think that's what they're talking about, how you could see the different structures. Cleavage is anything that separates something. So... That's what that would be. So you might be seeing cleavage right there. Look at that little creature right there with that, with the minerals inside of him. Look. <laughs> yeah, cleavage. Yeah, just just advertise that in your college brochure. Uh, we you study polarized light, and you'll see some cleavage. You have every everybody in there. You have a whole class full of males, and that's one thing. Somebody said stream on. Uh, <laughs> I always say this. Everybody says stream on uh, Twitch, and I always come back and say, look on Twitch to get a following, you got to be half naked, sitting in an indoor blow up pool, sitting on a blow up banana, before you get <laughs> you get views on Twitch. But look, if you guys. Uh, 
if you guys um, uh, follow me here, I'll start posting. My, my Twitch is KenSkid2001 also. So if you're on Twitch, go ahead and do that for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll sit. I don't think anybody's going to pay to see me sitting on it. I'm in shape, but I ain't that good a shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitch is basically chatterbait now. <laughs> so you're right, guy. Uh, Twitch is really, you got to be sitting in a hot tub with a bikini on, uh, uh, sitting there. Yeah, 2001, uh, I've always been a fan of uh, 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 Arthur C. Clarke, 2001, A Space Odyssey, the book and the movie, I guess. So everything for me, is 2001. I always put that. And when I was a kid, I always thought that in 2001, uh, we would have flying cars and everything. Uh, and my sister one time told me, you know, I hope you know, my older sister said, in 2001, things aren't just going to start popping out of the air and start flying around. It has to build up to that. <laughs> and look at this paramecium. He's got... Uh, Look, look at this. This is pretty interesting here. Hey, kitty cat. So look, look at the minerals in him. It could be minerals and it could be starch. Yeah, the, the, the book was insanely great. And the only reason I understood the movie was because of the book. I have people that watched the movie and said it was stupid, but they didn't understand what was happening, you know? The book is much, you know, you know what's happening in the book. Like in 2001, when the monolith came down and it was planted there, the the monkeys were getting ready to go extinct. They were getting ready to go extinct. And what the monolith did, it taught them how to, in the book, it taught them how to tie knots. Okay, it taught them how to pick up blades of grass and tie them in a knot. It taught them how to use a bone to kill another animal to eat it. Because up until that point, they were eating plants. And the plants were all drying out and they were about to go extinct. So this monolith came down and helped them understand, okay, well, I got to kill this pig over here or I'm going to go extinct. So it put in their brains how to kill animals and eat. And, and, then, and then it hid one under the moon's surface. So when it said, okay, well, when humans evolve enough to dig this up, we'll give them some more instructions. And those instructions would go to, was to go to Jupiter. So anyway, I digress. <laughs> so. The, the monolith was a teaching device in the book. Uh, it was a, it was a, uh, it, it was when they touched it, when they, when they touched it now, it was teaching them. And if you read the book, when they touched it the first time, it taught them, I think, I could be wrong, I think they picked up a, a, some plant matter or something and tied it into a knot, okay? So it taught them how to tie things into a knot. Okay, that's a big advantage because you can make rope and stuff. Okay, I'm, you know, I could be a little wrong, but then it taught them. They touched it, and they and they taught them. It taught them how to. Uh, when they touched it, it was getting into their brain. It was teaching them stuff. If you look, when when they fighting over the water hole, before they would just scream and holler at each other. The two enemy camps of monkeys, they would just scream and holler at each other. Well, the 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 tribe that got that got the monolith to teach him, picked up a, a bone and actually went over there and beat the other one in the head with it and killed him. So then they were able to evolve and they took over the water supply and then they were able to kill the pigs and eat the pigs. If the monolith wouldn't have taught them that, they would have went extinct and humans never would have evolved. So there you go. No, I don't have any stentors lately. Uh, I just can't find them. I just, you know, they're hard to come by. So this is a pretty quiet, this is pretty good right here. 52 viewers are really seeing some stuff here. That's a rotifer and a paramecium in the same frame. So, 
So yeah, 2001 is my favorite book. That's why I have everything 2001. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> And sorry about the slurping. Those are, yeah, those are tequila sounds. <laughs> so, yeah, you learned about 2001, probably stuff you didn't know. Some people watched the movie 2001 and actually said, ah, it was stupid. Yeah, the special effects were great. But uh, I didn't understand it. Well, that's what it was. You know, that's the whole movie. Yeah, those are, uh, those are two, 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 I don't know, I forgot what they call them, spindles or something, and they, they spit them out like that, and they just suck in the, Mex they just suck in the uh, bacteria and stuff. Yeah, you're going to Mexico? Wow, that's cool. All the way from Russia? Yeah, Arthur C. Clarke, if you look at some videos from him, in the 50s and in the early 60s, he predicted the internet. He predicted iPads. He predicted a lot of this stuff. And you could look at videos of him saying how the internet would work. It's insane. 12-hour flight? Listen, my man, you ain't getting me on a 12-hour flight. You know, money talks. If somebody said, I'll give you a $12,000 microscope if you fly to Russia,